Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon back with a new quick win and today we will focus on the list and we will implement a few functionalities that are basically missing um, but that are pretty easy to implement to scroll a list up and down and also to scroll to a specific item in our list. Everything from code. Let's do this. I've already created the blank new Ionic app as always, uh, nothing in here so far. We're gonna start with a little array because uh, of course we need some data for our app. So let's say for let whatever value equals zero, um, value below 100 and plus plus, we're gonna just um, fill our array with some dummy data. Actually, I don't really enjoy this. Um, I think there was something in Ruby or in uh, Swift development that was a bit easier to fill an array like uh, this syntax um, and then it would be filled with the numbers. I think it was in Swift. So um, maybe one day this will be uh, in JavaScript as well. Anyway, um, we're gonna just print out the value in the array. We don't need anything else. What we need is um, a bit more, uh, let me bring this in, the behavior and the block. So we can scroll an ion list in different ways. Um, let's maybe just add the list. Do I still got like the snippet here? Um, well, well, that wasn't really that effective. <laughs> uh, anyhow, um, ng4 let Come on, what's going on today? Let item of array, and then what's important, we're gonna need the index of the element as well. Uh, we're gonna keep it like it is for now, uh, just to go step by step through what is going on here. So right now we just got the array, uh, and we got a dummy list of elements, hopefully. Um, then I will bring in a few things. So here's our list. Uh, let's say we want to scroll to item 52 or whatever from a simple click at the top. So therefore we are gonna add first of all a uh, search bar. So with the ng model connected to a scroll to and then a function that will be triggered once we click the button. So let's say scroll to is null in the beginning and then we need the scroll list visible functionality. So within the scroll list visible uh, functionality, we now need access to um, basically the item we want to access. So this value will be whatever. Um, so scroll to this dot scroll to. And now we need to find out to which item we want to scroll and where this item is. And to do so, we first of all need to get access to the view child the ion list. Um, actually, we also need to read the um, element ref, so the real native element of the ion list. And please auto import from Angular core. There we go. This is the list, and that's the element reference. Now we can use the list in our scroll list visible function to get first of all um, all children because the list is just the parent element and we need access to this dot list native element children um, maybe i will just also lock this out as well so once we got the array um, we can also um, access the right element so or the right item by using array at the position this dot scroll to. So, oops, scroll to. Remember, scroll to is just the value we enter into this input field. So, just to make it a bit more dynamic. And then we're gonna lock this one out as well to test things out. So, the reload. And we got the search bar now. And we're gonna add whatever 22. And then we see from the locks, actually quite a few locks, that we got all the 100 ion items. And in the end, we got one specific item. Actually, uh, it should be highlighted in the view. Yes. So we actually got the right item, element 22. 
So now we just need to scroll our list or what we can do as well is scroll the item into the view and therefore we can call item scroll into view and then let's refresh so 22 and there we go but that's not yet everything so um, let's get rid of a few of the lock statements here so we got this one ready um, but let's say um, we want to change these two values so we can have a different block type and we can also have a different behavior actually we're not using it i see um, so um, you can actually pass in some values in here um, let me just complete this so the block means uh, at which point in the view the item should be visible. So right now we're at start, which means um, the item will be scrolled to the top. We can also change this one, for example, to end, and we can also change this one to smooth, which will then result in, first of all, a smooth scrolling, so no instant scrolling, and also the item will be at the end. Um, didn't I? make this one correct let's check um the behavior or is it some yeah of course i hate it um that i don't know it's a british english and american english thing right so i never never get this right so we see we're scrolling pretty smooth and the item is at the bottom and just to have a little uh, faster switch between those values i added um, two ion item selects, so one for the behavior and one for the block. So then we can easily um, change the behavior of our um, scroll and see all the different things. And so automatically make it one to the center. So there we go. It is right in the center. If we change this to end, it would be at the end. And also um, added just a little bit of CSS. Um, so we can change this one to class.focus and this class focus will be added if scroll2 is equal to the index of this iteration and then we need to uh, of course add the focus class which is just um, a primary background color and the white icon so then we should be able to see that so now of course uh, whenever i type i already see that this item is enabled but now we can also see it a bit more clearly what is going on and to which icon we are scrolling just a short disclaimer on safari this is not working so safari only supports the automatic scrolling uh, so instant um I don't know why perhaps or i guess at some point we will see this in safari as well but as of now, it is not working. So the last thing that I wanted to implement is when you have a long list in most of the apps, you um, at one point got the little icon here to scroll back to the top. And that's exactly what I wanted to have as well. And uh, let's start with a little ion fab button. And I will just make it right here. And um, this is just a fab uh, vertical bottom at the end slot fixed and we will also check for an offset but let's just remove this for now and let's just use scroll bottom and we can also of course already implement scroll top because uh, if we just edit why not do it for this one as well and to scroll to the bottom we can access the ion content just like we did with the ion list so we can go ahead using add view child and now ion content make sure you got the import right up here from add ionic angular and then um, simply name it whatever you want let's say content of the type ion nope ion content so this ion content can now be used oops um, interesting declaration um, this content can now be used and we will actually see that we should have some type of code completion, which is quite nice. So get scroll element, ion scroll, scroll by point, events to bottom, to point, to top. 
And of course, if we want to scroll to the bottom, we should pick scroll to bottom. And here for this one, scroll to top as well. So now we have just implemented scroll bottom and the element using add view child will be filled and accessed through the view. And then we can click it and we're immediately at the bottom of our app. And to make everything in here a bit more flexible, um, let's also add the offset top variable that we will set to zero. And whenever we scroll our ion content, we want to set it to the current offset value. So which means if we're scrolling down, the offset will increase. And at some point we can then um, decide that we want to display the button. And therefore we can go to the ion content. We should first of all set scroll events to true. And then on ion scroll, we will call a little on scroll function with the event. And let's lock this out before we actually use it. So uh, I think my function, no, it's okay. I just got a little issue. So whenever we scroll down the view, a new event will be emitted on scroll will be called. And you see a lot of custom events coming in. And if you dive into the event, you will see here is scroll top. So if I go down a bit more, you will see that now scroll top is a lot higher. And if I go back to the top, it is basically zero again. So let's use this information to uh, change our this dot scroll. Uh, scroll. How did I call this? Uh, offset top, of course. Um, let's set the offset top to e detail scroll top. I think that was the field, right? Detail scroll top. And then in our view, we can, as I already had in the beginning when I was pasting this code, uh, have the check and also display the other button. So display scroll top if, for example, the offset is greater than 300 and display a scroll to bottom if it is below 300. So let's check. Um, this means we can now scroll the view. In the beginning, we will always have this scroll to bottom and now we will have scroll up. So with scroll up, we're back at the top and now scroll down. We're at the bottom of the list and you see at about 300, the icon should change and reflects a new way. So that's it for today's quick win. I hope you enjoyed it. It wasn't that big, but um, these functions are actually essential. Uh, if you plan to manually control your lists, um, you can scroll to a specific item. You can scroll to the bottom of the list. You can scroll back top. Um, and these are really important features if you plan to have an app with lists and a lot of data. So I hope you enjoyed this quick win. Of course, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more Ionic videos. And finally, also check out the Ionic Academy, which is my school to help you learn Ionic in the best possible way. I would love to see you in there. So have a great day and take care. Bye.